I am a big believer that everything happens at the right time for the right reason. And while I am going to show you how to transform a tired old dresser in just four hours today, the whole experience at Debbie's DIY video boot camp was so much more. This is my first official day here at boot camp. I'm super excited. Today we're going to be learning from Debbie, going out, getting some B-roll, and pay me furniture. So Hi, Tammy. Hello, Debbie. I'm Bree. Bree. Yes. I know <laughs> Of course, we all went to boot camp to learn how to make awesome videos and to grow our business, but it ended up being we were all there for a much yeah, bigger now, reason. Day one, we dove right into furniture painting. Over to DIY headquarters, we had only 60 seconds to pick a piece of furniture to transform in only four hours. Boom. I chose this pine dresser. I knew the straight lines would be perfect for my farmhouse style. It was just a little tired and needed a little love, a little TLC to really shine, just like all of us do from time to time. I gave it a good scrub before beginning to paint. Now, of course, we're using Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. The colors and the brushes I'm using you can find over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. I'll be sure to link all of that information in the description box below for you. Before heading to California, I was feeling burnt out and there were so many things out of my control. Coming here, taking a dresser and transforming it in four hours made me feel awesome. It's one thing I know I can do, take a tired old dresser and make it beautiful. But also this was the perfect reset and reminder that my story is super important and it's something I want to share with y'all. Starting on this dresser, I'm giving it a solid coat of Gypsy Green by DIY Paint. I'm using my Klingon F50 brush and it's going on very easy. While that first coat dries, I move to the top. Now this is a mixture of layered chocolate and white swan. It's a beautiful brown gray color, which reminds me a lot of DIY Prairie Gray. Here's a peek at everything after that first coat is dry. DIY paint is all natural and only nine ingredients. It is highly pigmented clay-based paint. Look at this coverage after just one coat. Now to get the paint to move a little easier on coat number two, I'm just spraying it down with some plain water out of my continual mister bottle. We all have a story to share, and I want you to know that you are not alone. If you're ever feeling hopeless or like you're alone, please reach out, and I'm going to leave some additional information down in the description box below with some helpful numbers if you ever are struggling from addiction, depression, mental illness, or feel unsafe. I'm about two hours in and I've got two coats completed. I'm digging the color combo so far. Now y'all know I'm from Kansas and sunflowers are the Kansas state flower. I am using this iron orchid design transfer called painterly florals and positioning several of these gorgeous sunflowers on the piece. I have found a ton of inspiring, amazing women through this community, and I will link all of their channels down in the description box below. But I thought, what a better way to continue to share my story and show support than through my furniture painting videos. This community and painting furniture is truly my two favorite outlets for my mental health and my continuing recovery. Because of the time crunch, I am applying this transfer straight onto the DIY paint. 
Because the transfers are so amazing, it is working. Best practice and direction say to apply a top coat first. That could be a big top, liquid patina, or a top coat of your choice. After I have the sunflowers where I want them, it's time for some wet distressing. DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, so I can simply take a wet rag and wipe the paint off where I want that pretty yellowy pine to pop through below. It is a perfect combination with those yellow sunflowers. Now it's time to seal the piece, and I know what you're thinking, what are you doing? I'm using DIY Clear Wax, which is a buttery smooth finishing wax. Now when you apply the wax, the paint gets darker, but don't freak out. This is called the wax freak out factor. As it dries, it will even back up. You can see as it dries, it's starting to lighten back up. This is a great lesson in learning how to trust the process. I do love to sign all of my furniture pieces just for a special extra touch. I took the entire four hours to complete this piece and I love the way it came out. Next up, to learn from Miss Dion Woods about furniture staging. Go with pretty goes with pretty every single day of the week. Like pretty, grab all the pretty things that you like and then put them together some way in your, like, let's figure out if we can tie them together. Here is a look at Harper, the final finished project. I learned so much about video and staging, growing my business, but also so much about myself and where I want to take my YouTube channel. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for many more furniture transformation videos, including story time about Upcycled by Brie. The bloopers. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm all. It's a freaking California squirrel. <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. Oh. Is just a couple boy? Yeah. And her hotness, I would be all about the top. Walking around the top and the jeans. Too sweet. She's too sweet. <laughs> Desiree's like, you never told me you're gonna freaking sing, lady. Oh, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's so many lanes. Wow, people are crazy. If you get your video done and you post it in our feed when we call for it, you will get this patch and you will also be in part of the trailer that I make on my, my YouTube channel. So what Oh, <laughs> 